Hi everybody, I'm Justin Boos and this is the Fireworks Brush Pack for Painter and there are 15 brushes I'm going to go down. Uh, I'd first like to start with the point of this brush pack is to have a little more creativity to fireworks. Um, as I said in the Essentials video, uh, there are a lot of fireworks brushes across the web that are very much a default um, pre-made brush stamp firework and I kind of wanted to avoid that when I made these brushes uh, and to give you a little more creativity and responsibility in your own creative work so that you can kind of take ownership for it and also experience a little more fun especially with something like fireworks where of course you want to do that so as you can see in this video uh, there's kind of a scatter of different kinds of sparky brushes that you know you can build up. Uh, I didn't want to overdo it too much in this key image, but let's go down to a blank slate where we can look at each brush individually. And I'm going to start at the top with Crackle. And this brush is more of something that you want to use towards the ground. You can add it to anything. Uh, again, all these brushes are stackable. And as you can see, this has kind of got some nice expressive from thick to thin. You can change and stack the color up. You can do some cools and then some warms, and that's kind of a cool effect. Not very fireworksy, but you can use you know the prim primary firework colors for whatever you want to do. And let's go to the next one, falling. This one I like to use with bang. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go all the way down here to bang for just a second. And bang is a really nice kind of implies some impl implosion here and you know you can play with the opacity and grain in painter of course you can play the with the color you can see there's a slight color jitter it looks like we've got going on there uh, and that's pretty obvious but uh, when you combine these two and when we make a little bang and then we add falling let's try to make that the same color we're gonna make this brush as big as the bang is, and then we're going to use a nice controlled stroke from soft to a firm stroke there from the center, and you can see what happens as our firework goes out, and now we've kind of created our own firework here. This is not a default stamp brush, this is something that you can not only kind of have fun and experience, but take the ownership of. Uh, let's change the color a little more saturated. Again, we can kind of be the artist with these fireworks, and it's a lot more fun that way. Now, you can kind of see how this went hand in hand, and I'm going to bounce around here between brushes if you don't mind, just to show you a couple things that are very specific to this. And one of them is the up brush. And one thing you can do is you can make a nice, from wherever it m might be coming from, or even the direction from, or you can even, well, that's probably not a smart idea. You can kind of imply where that went. Maybe I shouldn't go past that. There we go. Take some playing with, and there we go. You can kind of see how that really does look like a firework, and we made each of those strokes. It's it's a pretty uh, neat stacking technique that we've got going on here. Um, so I'll continue to go down, and, and we can go back and forth. But you can see how just the different brushes that we've got going on here, we've hardly touched into them, how that they play into each other, and... Again, you can be really creative with these. Uh, the flash brush is another kind of gr ground blossoming brush. I'm going to use it towards maybe the, the bottom. You can kind of see how that would, if you were going for a fireworks of kind of effect. It's just kind of nice to have around the sides. I think it's kind of necessary to just kind of continue the feature from one end of the picture to the other. We're going to go to Fuse. And this one is really fun. If you have some fireworks that you want to add some crackle to, you can take this and it's almost like a sparky airbrush there. And you can play with the opacity, of course. Uh, I recommend it on kind of high opacity and just having some nice, delicate, gentle strokes. And we've got the jitters brush. This one is fun. I think it's essential for all firework kind of brush packs to have sort of a sparkler and you'll see a lot of these kinds of brushes in Particle Shop. So I wanted to make sure this one was a little different. This one has some jitter to it, 
um, some more expression. It's not just a, a one one size feature flow. Let's see if we can get that bigger. You can see that when we zoom in that each little sparkle has got its own unique jitter to it. So I think that kind of helps add some expression. And let's go to the magic brush. This one is similar, but it's got some value jitter to it. So if you're really wanting something that's that's transparent for maybe a background or part of the picture, this one has got value and color jitter, I should say. But it's kind of nice for adding not just a sparkler effect, but just some nice magic little sparkles that don't look like a sparkler, but have the same cackly effect there. Or crackly effect, excuse me. So let's see here. We just did magic. I'm going to go to rocket. This one is pretty fun, but I recommend doing it on a separate layer. We're going to go like this, and you can make the stroke go up. If we were doing a rocket over here, and if it was bigger, maybe you were towards the bottom of the ground, not so much the sky. You can make things look like they're taking off, maybe at a higher value there. Oh, let's do that on a separate layer, like I said. And I can then take my eraser, and on a low opacity, I can back out of the gentle part, or as, excuse me, the hard part or the sides, and kind of create the effect that I want to. So that's kind of a brush that you want to um, start start with a nice hard stroke and then paint out with an eraser what you don't want and it kind of leaves this nice rocket like effect. So let's go to the next brush here. We've got scatter. I'm going to clear my canvas for clarity, clarity here but with scatter I sp so this brush is kind of like the sparkles but the, the scatter is in what direction it's going. I recommend turning the opacity up for this one, but you can play with it, of course. And you can see this one, you can both poke in, and it goes in different areas, so you can maybe do some ground blooms or something, or you can use it in a sparkly-like effect. Again, these are really firework-like brushes that, again, help you to create what you want in your image. So I wanted to make sure that was something that was that kind of added to your own creative outlet. So, and then we have smoke. This one is fun. Actually, I'm going to go back to the stroke. This one is fun. I recommend if you are using it near an area that is lit like this, like we're going to dial that down a little, maybe brighter, and this we're going to color the smoke so you can kind of have that effect because if, if there was smoke outside and you've got some fireworks behind it or even in front of it for that matter uh, it's gonna light that smoke up if you were to do it in a way that's just gray it is just fine it's not gonna look bad but it's not gonna look as fun and colorful it might look a little more serious maybe you're going for that maybe you're not I like nice colorful creative and playful and I think that adding those colors like if I were to do this green I think that kinda helps out so Let's go to up. This one is really fun. If you're playing with those rockets, just like I was showing you earlier, in fact, I think we went over this one. Just make some nice, quick strokes. Um, if you hold them, hold that stroke and slow it down, you can kind of do something that looks a little more slow. I don't know what kind of fireworks have that strong of a takeoff, though. So I guess that's up to your own discretion there. So let's go to bang, and we did bang earlier, and that one's just a really fun brush right there, and kind of adds the to the explosion effect of whatever that you're going for, and maybe a little focus to your composition too. So let's go to bolts here. This one is fun. You've probably seen a lot of fireworks with a little shower to it whether they're from above or below. So this one I recommend stacking up some colors, just being really delicate and gentle. I'm kind of just pecking at my canvas here on my Cintiq screen. And again, playing with those colors, and you can really add to your showers, or you can play with the opacity, dial it down, and make some nice gentle ones, especially if you're going for something in the distance. So let's go to shower. And this one is really fun because... It's really vague, but colorful. You can put this in the sky if you really want it to look 
uh, magical or you can add it to your actual firework if you want to add that to your fuse kind of a little similar to the fuse brush there but the fuse brush is a little more direct and and uh, crackly so let's go to sparks this one is really fun uh, you can use this really small and add some little sparkles that have some color in every single individual peck of this little guy here or you can make sure they're big I recommend dialing down the opacity let's see what do we want that on and you're gonna be able to add some nice color variation uh, kind of like those light flashes that you see that are just a little too much to see add some color around it so you can make things not just bright and focused but colorful like you see here so you can probably actually kind of even do a tiny one and then do a big one over it you could do that and that looks nice as well let's go to the last brush grain this one I think is important for the sky I'm gonna go back to the key image if I wanted to add some grain to this image I would take maybe a mid color maybe we'll go higher lower oh I'm not on that layer I was wondering why it... and this kind of helps you to take away some of the contrast for more of a more of an artsy kind of picture maybe you don't want to do it this strong but you can at least see what it's doing and it's almost like a an Instagram filter that you can add over your picture especially when things are really dark over here let's take that in right over here and you can add some nice green it looks like it's kind of coming from the fireworks and I think that's important because then you're not just editing your photo but you're interacting with it from what your intentions are with the brushes so those are the 15 brushes from the fireworks brush pack for painter thank you guys so much for watching and again I look forward to looking at what you are going to make around the internet thank you very much